Agora TV. The world is thinking. For those of you who don't know, the, megafaunal, the cause of the megafaunal extinction is a somewhat controversial topic. And it's been that way because uh, there's been a guy named Paul Martin, who's a great guy, who proposed something called the Blitzkrieg Hypothesis. Humans came to North America, we have this, you know, uh, this uh, bunch of sites, these Clovis sites, these Clovis points are just big spectacular points used typically on the end of a spear. They show this massive expansion, and when you radiocarbon date them, they're almost exactly the same age. And they all uh, are, they're actually, there's an interesting thing here, they're almost entirely confined to mammoth sites. And so he proposed that human hunters, in fact, caused the demise of the megafauna. It had to be humans. However, climate changed at the same time. And so the reason why I suggest that there's a role for both humans and climate is because, and I pointed out those other things that are happening to the landscape. There's range adjustments in the animals that survive. There's massive changes in the vegetation. So there are vegetation communities in the Pleistocene that don't even exist anymore. There are assemblages, I didn't show you this, but there are assemblages of mammals and of plants that were formed kind of dominant communities in the Pleistocene, and they've been pulled apart, and they're not even found together today. So those no analog communities clearly had a big role on the species that were interacting in them. So as people went out and studied other sites and other continents looking at this extinction event, they found that in many cases, extinction is correlated with not just the arrival, but the dominance of humans. And it's been used as one explanation about why the extinctions in Africa were so much more muted in Africa, why we still have megafauna in Africa. One of the explanations was that that's where humans evolved. And so the megafauna were clearly adapted in some way to human hunting. The other place that's a standout on this argument, and I could go on for a long time about this particular issue, but the other place that's a, a standout is Australia. And the reason why Australia is problematic is because there's very poor dating. Radiocarbon dating doesn't work well in in Australia, most of the sites are actually in these large carbonate rocks. Radiocarbon dating does not work well. So not only is human arrival not dated well, megafaunal extinction isn't either. So there are a couple of questions about that, but it's probably around 40, well, 30 to 50,000 years ago in Australia. So it actually preceded this late Holocene, I mean, sorry, this late Pleistocene Holocene transition. Um, and the final thing I'll say is that in North America, where we actually do have a lot of Clovis material, we only find them hunting mammoth. What happened to the giant ground sloths? What happened to the saber-toothed cats? What happened to the glyptodons and the giant armadillos? And so that's the other reason is because we don't find kill sites for a lot of these other megafauna. But it's a good question. Anyone who knew about it would, I'm not surprised that they'd ask. It could have been a whole talk on just that extinction event.